A somewhat surprised Greenville update has just dropped. 1.28.5. Only been a little over two weeks since the last update. Pretty unexpected to, I'm sure, a lot of you. Starting off, we've got 12 new cars. Not too shabby at all. I thought it was less, but now that I'm looking at it, there's still a pretty good amount. First vehicle is the 1961 Volkswagen Type 2 bus, an iconic, timelessly designed classic van. Gotta get in a nice light blue. Dove blue, okay. There's three trims, the panel for $34,000, the Deluxe 23 window for $98,000, and the Deluxe 13 window for $68,000. I feel like the panel has the most classic feel, if that makes sense. So I think I'm gonna get that one, and I'll get four spoke steelies, because why not? Let's see how this looks. Here's how it looks up close. Pretty simplistic, but timeless design. Start it up. Not bad. Listen to that idle. You can barely hear it over the birds chirping, but. Not too bad. Not bad. We're gonna take this thing for a spin. Honestly, I feel like this van aged really well. This thing is very slow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're really ringing it out, dude. You're definitely not gonna get places too fast in this, but uh, you can't expect too much. What is the top out at? Probably not very fast. This time it's gonna be a zero to top speed in braking test because no chance I'm hitting 100. I don't even know if I'll hit top speed. This thing is slow. The first two gears are very short. Third gear is not that long, and then fourth gear is just insane. That right there is 50. That is top speed, I think. 60 miles an hour. <laughs> that is awful. Uh, Brakes aren't too bad, but you're going 60. So. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. Are there are reverse lights on this? I don't think there is. I'm in reverse, but I don't see a reverse light anywhere. Yeah, I don't see him. Does it have brights? Oh, it does. I was not expecting that, honestly. Neither was I. This thing has a great turning radius, though. Look at this. That's really good for how old it is and the size. I mean, it's pretty tiny. Put this thing up next to one of the new fifth gens. This thing is like a smart car. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, this thing would be kind of a cool city cruiser. Yeah, I might drive this a little bit in RP service because of how slow it is. I got a time that's 0 to 60 on this. Here, you got a timer? Uh, I get one out. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Go. Oh, that was with the launch, by the way. It's a very not great launch, but power shifting it. I'm into third. That's 30. We're halfway there. Already 10 seconds. <laughs> Dude, this is not good. I'm in fourth gear now. It's the longest gear. That is 45 miles an hour. We're an inch and towards there. We're going down. Oh, 60, 60. That was 25 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's pathetic. <laughs> uh... You want to buy the square body and we race them? Uh, sure. On my way to the dealership, I'm going to try to do a cool drifting parking job thing here. See what I can do. Oh, that was pretty lame. What do the actual specs say? Top speed 60 miles an hour. Horsepower is 40. Uh, at least it gets 28 miles per gallon, though. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Right. Well, that's not too good for the speed it's going. But it is, what, like 62 years old? You got to cut it some slack there. Weight is 2,500 pounds. It weighs less than a C6 Corvette. Seems like all the trims have the exact same specs. Nothing's different. Although some do have more seating. Old slowest vehicle in the game versus the potential new winner of that title. Three, two, one, go. Oh, all right. Oh my gosh, this is like the slowest race ever. This it's like is gapping it though. <laughs> no, that's 30. What are you at? Uh, 40. You're like five miles an hour already faster than me. Dude, Just you're putting a bus dude. length on me in a square body. Thinking of how slow that truck was that I had to go back to the roundabout to brake at the Wolf intersection at the correct <laughs> speed. This thing is even slower. Makes a square body look like a race car, dude. I know. Let's see how long it takes you to catch up to me. Because I'm almost already capped out at my top speed. <laughs> That right there is 55. <laughs> Let's I go. I just hit 60. Oh no. At least you can never break the speed limit of this thing. Like you can never be banned from an RP server driving this van. And bye. <laughs> that thing's a drag car compared to this. Pretty sure I saw this at Texas 2K. Yeah. On to the next vehicle, I guess. That's the new slowest vehicle in game. So if you like slow <laughs> vehicles like me, get yourself a new ride. I don't see anything too exciting until you get up to the Rams. The 2022 5th Gen Ram. I'll get a 1500 in HD and then a TRX, which finally is in game. Probably one of the most anticipated vehicles of all time to come to GB. So for the 1500 Rams, 
You have the Tradesman, the Rebel, the Limited Red Edition, Laramie Southwest Edition, Southwest Florida reference? I don't know, man. Bighorn, Limited Longhorn, Limited Laramie Night Edition, Limited Night Edition, Bighorn Night Edition, Laramie Sport, Laramie. That's it. They're all 5'7 Hemis, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All the specs are the same. 395 horsepower, 24 MPG, which seems really high for a Hemi, but all right. Unless maybe these have the E-Torque, I don't know. Those get better. Here's how the Bighorn Night Edition looks up close. Here's what $52,000 gets you in a new Ram 1500. Got the slightly longer bed, the slightly shorter cab, and a 5.7 Hemi. All right, here, hop in. Let's take this thing for a spin. I wonder what a typical dad would think of this thing. Probably hate it. Yeah. Not probably, he would. Definitely. This thing's actually really speedy. I forgot how fast the 5.7s were in this game. Let's see what this does on the 0 to 100 braking test. This will definitely reach 100 as uh, just almost demonstrated. And go. And 100. Set my cruise. And braked. Ooh! That was pretty good. That was really good. That was from 100 and that was almost as good as the VW bus. <laughs> it's got like the slightly blacked out taillights. These are the halogen ones instead of the upgraded LEDs that you get from the higher trims. Does it drift? <laughs> oh, almost. Ah! You want to see the 2500? Yeah, I'm going to go buy one myself. I'm going to get a 3500. There is a ton of trims, by the way, for the HDs. And look at the colors. I know. Hydro blue, construction yellow, midnight blue, Delmonico red, rapid blue. Wait, C8? <laughs> Detonator yellow. That's the actual banana ram color. Yeah, there's a lot of colors and there's a lot of trims. The Tradesman, the Laramie Mega Cab Night Edition, Laramie HD Limited, Power Wagon Opted, the Bighorn Sport, the Laramie, the Tradesman HD, the Limited Longhorn HD, Limited HD Night Edition, the Bighorn, the Power Wagon, the normal Power Wagon that is. There's a ton of trims. Almost all of them come with the 6.7 diesel. Besides the power wagons, I believe. Power wagons come with the 410 horsepower, 6.4 Hemi. I'm gonna go ahead and get Gabe Farrell's truck, basically. Oh man, this single cab dually looks so nice. I know. I gotta get me one of those later. Where's uh, Gabe's trim? Oh, here we go. All right, gonna get it in pearl white. $92,310. Definitely a uh, mildly pricey truck. Here's how the Ram HDs look spawned out. You got two of them here, both 3500s. What is the trim name on this one? Bighorn HD Night Edition. Yeah, and then over here, mine is the limited Longhorn HD. So a couple differences on this. Mine is the mirrors flipped in. Gabe's has them flipped out. Gabe's doesn't have side steps. Mine does have side steps, but they're folded up. There's a bunch of details on these trucks, like the 3500 heavy duty badge on the hood. Yours is blacked out, which is really cool looking. The cab lights up top. Mine has different headlights. I think yours definitely has the better headlight design. Yeah, I agree. My taillights, they're completely like solid red, which look all right, but the blacked out details on yours. Ooh, ooh. I love the blacked out one. Yeah, and the blacked out Ram logo as well. Mine yeah. has the chrome. I love these wheels. I might have to put those on my, ah, I don't know. I'm gonna go to the rim shop and check it out. Here's how they sound. Same thing as the fourth gens, but might as well take a listen. Coming out of the fresh exhaust that Doggone made for these. All right. Ooh, these pick up and go a little bit. Tuning's nice. Definitely. Does yours have launch control? Because mine does. Yeah. All right, both of these are high output models, I guess. Let's see how they do. Go. Oh man, your truck is squatting a little bit. All right, and put your cruise to 100. And when you get to the intersection, just brake. Oh! I don't know what the difference is in the braking. I don't know if I braked a little bit earlier or what. I have smooth braking on, I think. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Pulling up to the tire shop here. Honestly, I think these are probably the best I'm gonna get. They're not the greatest, but I think they'll work for now. I'm gonna try these wheels. Honestly, the stock wheels you had, they look pretty good. Yeah, they kind of look weird as a dually. At least you can still change the dually wheels because you used to not be able yeah. to do that before. They do look pretty good, I think. Got both of the 3500s. Looking pretty sharp. I guess uh, drive back to the dealership now and get a TRX. Oh, you almost hit the sign, dude. Yeah, that was very close. AV actually did save me. Ah, oh, come on, not there. Ah. Uh, oh, god damn. Dang it. Moving on. The T Wex. Uh. <laughs> What do we need a T-Wex, dude? So we got two trims. We get the normal TRX and then the Sandblast Edition. The difference between the two is pretty much different wheels and the bottom part of the paint is black or color matched. 
I think I'm just gonna get the normal one and I'm gonna try to make an ignition addition. I got the ignition orange here. Honestly, I think white and orange look the best on this. Orange by far is my favorite color on these. They look great. And the specs for this, 113 mile an hour top speed, 10 miles per gallon, and it weighs 6,500 pounds. Purchase this for $98,457. Here's how it looks up close. Got the normal T-Rex, ignition orange. This thing looks great. These are the normal Mopar sounds, but I did make some other sounds for this truck, so this should be coming at some point. Oh my gosh, the suspension on this thing already. It looks like it handles very well. Yeah, it does. Let's take this corner here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that suspension was like butter. I know, it's so smooth. I think this is even better than the Raptor, which is insane to say. Those were incredible. We jumped those like a million times. In fact, this thing does so well, it's literally jumping in the game icon. Oh! Do mild flex here. Try not to fall down either. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's like an insane flex, dude. Do you think I'm gonna be able to get out of this without crashing and, you know? Kinda already touching, are you? Oh, that was Ooh. easy! You think this is the best off-road truck in the game? I think it might take the new spot. You still have your Raptor? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh! This is the V6. Is that gas? Your truck is not fully loaded in for me. Parts of it are literally just missing. <laughs> this thing gets through gears so quickly. Built the Raptor here, which you'd hope would have decent MPG. Better than this, but this is still running as we speak. Uh, yeah. Still has engine sounds. So. That that is a good point as well. It also still has all of its meshes loaded in, unlike uh, this for some reason. <laughs> I think this sounds better, personally. Yeah. Here, rev that again. I gotta hear it. That sounds great. Let's race at this light. At red. All right. Go. Oh. And the V6 Raptor is literally <laughs> gapping me. <laughs> this thing is insane. But it tops out at 101. TRX, come on, take the lead. Oh, yeah! TRX uh, wins in the long run. But for all those mad that the TRX loses, Dogon is nerfing the Raptors. So that's either a good thing or a horrible thing to you. I don't know, but it's a good thing to me. You have the uh, limited Raptor, right? Yeah. If this thing already gets smoked by a V6 Raptor, I can't imagine what's going to happen here. I mean, I can imagine, but... Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Brakes here, and what does it do? Oh, that was not very good braking at all. <laughs> that took a while. The normal 1500s are a lot better, but they're also a lot lighter too. But this is yeah. also a performance truck, so it's kind of a uh, hindrance. I don't know, whatever, but this thing's cool nonetheless. Very awesome truck to drive, and it looks super menacing. Oh! <laughs> See how does it do? Oh my gosh! See what this thing can do! What does it do jumping down though? Oh my gosh! Come on, don't hit a tree. Oh, dang it! Oh, 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 oh! Ah. Yeah, that didn't go well. Can the Raptor do it? Oh, <laughs> she didn't even make it over the road. There you go, that's the 5th gen Rams. There's a lot of them. And if you don't believe that there's a lot of them, Hunter finally made an image of all the vehicles in the update again, each individual trim, which he stopped doing in 2021 because of how many vehicles are getting added each time. Now that they're a bit less this time around, he did it again for a bit of a throwback, especially since the first revamp update was when the 5th gens were originally added. Look how few vehicles we had back then in updates compared to now. Now, similarly to back then, the 5th gens make up more than half of the entire vehicle lineup in the update, except there's like 25 more than we had two and a half years ago. The final prominent vehicle in this update is the 2023 Porsche 718. There's two of them, the normal one here, which has the base, the S, and the GTS. Specs for the base here tops out at 170, the S tops out at 177, and the GTS tops out at 182. And then, probably the craziest car in this update, the 2023 718 GT4. There's four trims, the GT4 six-speed manual, the GT4 PDK, so the automatic version, the new GT4 RS, and the GT4 RS YSAC package, which just has a bunch of carbon fiber. Prices from this thing range all the way from $107,000 up to the 4 RS YSAC, for 190,000. I'm gonna get the six speed manual GT4. Top speed yeah. is 189 miles per hour, 414 horsepower. Here's how the normal GT4 looks up close. 
I got this over the RS because I think it just looks a lot cleaner. The RS is a bit busy in my opinion. Still got a pretty big wing though on the back. And dual exhaust. Start it up. It's a nice startup. That's not bad. I also picked this because I think it sounds better in game than the 4RS. That idle is crisp. Yeah, it matches with the startup very well. This one's pretty good. Let's take this thing out for a spin. Ooh. This thing moves. I really do like this. I think it might be time to sell my GT3 and just keep this one. Because I yeah. really do quite like this car. I'm excited for the 981 as well, which I think it's coming at some point. The pre facelift version of this car. Oh! This thing corners really nice. I know. I really like the sound. It's not overbearing, and it's not too subtle to not know what it is. Kind of sounds like an F1 car. Going down Greenville Drive, like it's the Autobahn now or something. How long does it take to brake without speed? Can I brake for the light? I can! <laughs> wow. wow, those brakes are red hot. They are glowing. Oh wait, it does have launch control. Oh my gosh, you can get it loose a little bit too. This thing's great. Oh, I really does not want to spin. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo! You really gotta fight it to get it to go. But once it gets going, it holds it pretty well. That was yeah, not that was bad. Really wide. Sounds really good, bouncing off the rev limiter. It'd be really cool if we had a track we could take it to. We need to get Road America in Greenville. I'm gonna do launch control. I launch it. Oh, oh my gosh! That launched pretty hard. It yeah. actually spun it. Breaks! Oh! Not bad! Oh! Oh! Oh my oh, gosh! Wow. Oh! Imagine Heen driving this. Dude, he's insane driving cars in this game. Oh my gosh. This is really fun to just rip around. I am curious to see how the PDK drives and how this compares. Oh, great! In any other car, you'd be in that ditch, dude. Probably. Ordering some Culver's? Yeah, I uh, ordered online. I don't know how they can hand it to me this far away. Yeah, toss it to you. They got all the food all over my brand new yellow yeah. stitching in here, you know? Oh! That's really messed up. Yeah. I'm gonna head back to the dealership and uh, report back on all the other cars that I didn't touch on today. I'm gonna use six houses as a little bit of a racetrack here. I was doing this loop here in my E46 the Ooh. other day. Perfect, dude. The E46 did pretty well. It was pretty fun to rip around. And you also didn't yeah. really break FRP speeds because you couldn't even get the thing over 70 in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. It's fine. The fire hydrant is the exact same color, so it didn't even leave any marks. Let's try to hit top speed on this back road here. That's fifth. Downhill a little bit and it's six. Oh my gosh, I'm going off the road. Oh my gosh, brakes. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's ruined the front end, dude. Coming here into the dealership, some vehicles that I did not touch on, one of which would be the 2011 Maserati Gran Turismo, which just hours ago was revealed and finished. There's one trim for this. The 2017 Mercedes GLC was redone. The 300, the 300 all-wheel drive, the 43, the 400 Sportline Night Pack, the 300 Opted, the 43 Night Pack, and the 300 all-wheel drive Sportline. Then you've also got the AMG version, which I'm sure has tons of pops if you were to drive it, the blacked out version, and the chrome version. The 2019 Volkswagen Jetta was remodeled. A couple different trims here. Next is the new Volvo XC60, the B5 front wheel drive trim, the B6 all wheel drive trim with a roof box on it, the B6 all wheel drive upgraded trim, and the B5 all wheel drive dark design trim. And lastly, the 2023 Volkswagen ID3. The Pro model, the Pro S Tour silver model, the Pro S Tour penny copper model, and the Pro performance model. And with that, that's all 12 vehicles from the update. Final thing added in this update was the new options menu. It has been entirely redone to be much more straightforward and insightful. Before it was a bit cramped, and as so many settings were added over time, it was getting increasingly difficult to navigate easily. Now though, you've got a big ol' menu in the middle of your screen, along with sections of settings to narrow it down a bit if you'd like. You can pick vehicle, audio, graphics, gamepad, character, and my server. If you just want to see all the options at once though, no fear, the all options choice is here. Another very helpful addition to the bottom of the menu is a brief description of each setting if you're a bit confused on what it does, which honestly I think all games should have. The on slash off switch for simple settings is visually pleasing, 
And on top of this, two new settings were added, joystick steering dead zone for controller users and wheel, and close to the very top, an automatic AEB on slash off toggle, which will determine if AEB is instantly enabled when you step inside a vehicle with it or not. Either way, you're still able to turn it on and off in your vehicle on the go. Also, with this change, all of your settings have been reset, but it'll only take a minute or so to put back, and it gives you a reason to check out and use the new menu. And with that, I believe that's everything in this update. However, last update, a tutorial was added that was broken when I last tried it. Now it's been fixed and I'm able to check it out. Also, these loading dots here have kind of changed a bit, which is a very minor change in this update, but a change nonetheless. All right, I'm in the game. Greetings, it seems as if you're new here. Would you like to complete a quick tutorial? You may earn some sweet rewards from doing so. Sure. Welcome to Greenville. Greenville is a game with a vast amount of vehicles, over 2,300. In addition to a large car variety, Greenville has many roleplay opportunities. This tutorial is to give you a quick insight how to play the game without any more delay. Let's get started. First, let's head on a little trip. We're going to go to the dealership. It really is a uh, little trip. I literally have to walk like a couple steps. Head over to the note on your screen that will appear once you click the next button. Oh, okay. All right, right here. Great job. This is where you can purchase all vehicles. Additionally, each vehicle can be customized by changing the vehicle's color, reflect its license plate and rims. All right, what do I learn next? Remember how you could earn sweet rewards for completing the tutorial? Well, you've completed it. You can choose from three cars as a free starter car, our gift to you for playing. Additionally, you have earned an extra $5,000 in-game cash. That's a pretty hefty amount. I can buy a decent car with that. Or... I can just get one of these here. So I can either get a Cobalt SS, a Flat Eye Xena Cab, or a Ford Escape. It's gotta be like one in a hundred that people pick the Escape. I guess I'll just pick the Flat Eye here. Okay, I got it. I got the welcome badge too. Let's check out my brand new Flat Eye here. Also, the server is kind of popping with the new cars. Got a new fifth gen right here out front. This thing looks pretty sharp. New Maserati too. Oh, what the heck? This is not what I signed up for. This is a single cab. Thought I was getting an extended cab, but all right, this works too. But yeah, this is my first vehicle here, and uh, I guess I'll go explore Greenville for the uh, first time now. And with that, this update review is over. Thanks for watching.